ChatGPT is a wonderful tool, but what if I told you that is only the tip of the iceberg? When it comes to artificial intelligence, there is a lot more out there. And when it comes to ChatGPT especially, there is an extension that I can almost guarantee you haven't heard about that will change the way you use ChatGPT. So this right here is the ChatGPT that you are all very aware of and have come accustomed to. But what you haven't seen is this right here here now this right here is called playgrounds this is also by OpenAI, and it also uses the gpt3 artificial intelligence that chat gpt uses but this is pretty much chat gpt on steroids there's no reason you should be using chat gpt when you can just use this and i'm about to show you why real quick if you want to play along with me i welcome you to do just that you can find this tool at beta.openai.com playground let's get back to it once you're there you'll be welcome with this screen now let's take a quick look at some of the different features that it offers us because right out of the gate there's a lot of customization that we do not get with the base chat GPT so we can see things like mode model and temperature let's take a look at what those are and we'll actually get back to mode in just a moment because we're going to use it so first thing is the model what it auto defaults to is text da vinci 003 you can see this is the most capable model in gpt3 series that's the artificial intelligence that we're communicating with and giving prompts to that is essentially the background of chat gpt so we're going to be using this right here as it is the most up to date there's something else that we're going to get to that you should look forward to later in the video called the codex. This is actually a JavaScript coder that can write code for you. But for right now, let's stick to text da Vinci. This is the temperature. The temperature basically tells you if you've seen the last video about GPT-0, and if you haven't, that's okay too, it's the perplexity score. This basically says how perplex is the script that we're going to spit back out at you. How many times are the phrase phrases or certain words, in this case tokens, if you hear me say the word token you can think of the word word because the maximum length here is 256 and this is registered in tokens. You can see requests can use up to 2048 or 4000 tokens shared between prompt and completion. We can also see here that one token is roughly four characters for normal English or your average word. Even the word word is a token. So right off the bat, you can see that you can actually control the perplexity in which you get a response. You control the exact model that you would like to use and this most helpful tool, the maximum length. If you've ever tested it in ChatGPT, the base version, if you tell it to write you a 1000 word prompt, chances are you may only get between two to 400 words total, regardless of how many words you told it to write back to you. This right here allows you to go up to 4,000. Now this limitation increase alone is a much better way of writing prompts with artificial intelligence than using the base chat GPT. Now let's talk about that mode option and we're actually going to utilize it. Let's say hypothetically, I am a salesman, but not just any salesman, I am the best wine cork salesman in the world, and I just started my own company called Corkmate, but I want to utilize artificial intelligence like ChatGPT using GPT-3 to write my ad copy, so to help me out with my marketing. So let's go ahead and say, uh, write ad copy for a wine cork. Simple enough, right? Write ad copy for a wine cork. We will click submit and see what it spits back out at us. Treat yourself to the best of the best with our premium wine corks, perfectly engineered to fit any bottle size, yada, yada. Now, what we can do here is we can take a look and say, treat yourself to the best of the best with our premium wine cork so let's just say that we want to change that word and this can be used in extremely long essays in the same way so we're gonna go up to the mode on the top right and let's say uh, we want to change uh, our corks so let's change that one that's better let's go to the edit mode 
and you can see we have a new box down on the bottom. Let me actually move myself. No, no, okay, I am in the right way here. You can see that we have an instructions box on the bottom left. Now this basically lets us further deep dive into whatever that script that was kicked back out at us contains. So we want to change the word our quarks. So we can say change every our quarks to, and let's just give it a brand name, the Corkmate. All right, so let's change every that to Corkmate. Alrighty, so now we have this, treat yourself to the best of the best with Corkmate Premium Wine Corks. Perfectly engineered to fit any bottle. So we can see now that we have changed that to Corkmate. Anytime it's gonna mention a cork, it's going to mention our brands. Now that's only one way of using that. Like I said, this is way more helpful if you're someone that's writing long articles or blogs and you wanna go in and change something, or if you're not a native English speaker. This can also fix your grammar. This can also translate whatever you want into another language for articles, blogs, scripts, and ad copy. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, uh, normal mode here, the default mode, and let's take a look at this coder model. So we're going to go to model, and then we're going to go down and use the code DaVinci002. Now we're going to go ahead and ask it to do something for us. Let me grab this prompt. We're going to let it know that we want it to create a JavaScript text-based role-playing game determined by RNG, and we're going to click Submit. Voila, just like that, it lets us know at first what it's going to do and all of the functions it's going to need to execute in order to do that. Uh, now you can see it actually stopped here because I had my maximum length set to 256, but this will create every function needed to do the prompt that we told it to. So you can see the first thing it needs to do is create a character object with the following properties, name, health, attack, and defense. And then on down the line it goes. Now it's going to tell us all the functions it creates, and then of course if I set the maximum length more, which it looks like on the codex, you can have a maximum length of 8,000. So it will just keep going and if I click resubmit it will just continue with a new maximum length. I hope you have as much fun as I have playing around in the OpenAI Playground. Again, you can find that at beta.openai.com slash playground, and I don't see why anyone would use the old chat GPT anymore, the old one. The old one that came out, you know, like a month and a half ago. But now we have Playground, we have more customization, and we can even do things like change the perplexity in which we get responses. Now, there's many fun things that you can do with chat GPT but can you say create a profitable trading strategy with ChatGPT? Well, that's what this video right here is all about.